get into the word. The Lord has done so many great things so for me. Many. So many. Until I don't know. Uh, all I can do is remain faithful to him. That's all. Amen. Remain faithful for him. People says, uh, God has done so much for me. I don't know what to do. No, I know what to do. I know what to do. Yeah, I know what to do. I'm going to keep on serving him. Amen. I'm going to keep on praising him. Hallelujah. I'm just going to keep on keeping on. Praise God. Keep on keeping on. Amen. Y'all yeah. like that? Keep on keeping on. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's what we're in, intending on do is uh, uh, continue to keep on. Scripture on this morning, there's much this there's much this in my heart. There's much this on my mind. Hallelujah. Amen. As Jesus was getting ready to leave this world, he was troubled. Yeah. And he says, my, my, my soul, per se, didn't let me paraphrase this, but I, I got anguish in my soul. Yeah. And, and, and he was kind of contemplating not going to the cross. I got And he was praying to the Father about that situation. But he knew that's why he was there at that place. And he was saying, my Lord, you know, take this away. But then he says, but that's why I came. Now look at you have been in that situation. Where I mean, it is there's some things you want to avoid, but you understood that that's why you were there. I don't know whether any of y'all have ever been in that kind of situation. And so you have to make a decision whether or not you're going to do what will make you you think comfortable or whether you would do what you know he's called you to do. Come on, Pastor! And I don't know if you've ever been there, y'all, but it's a, it's a crisis of faith. It's something that I, I deal with that. Amen? I deal with that. Amen? It causes me many times to question and question God, man, question me. You know, you, you know, Lord, you can, you can pick somebody up. Why do you pick me? Amen? Amen. But God got his reasons. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Let's go to the word this morning uh, in the book of Matthew, chapter number 16, and verse number 24. And I've come to understand and learn some things, y'all. It, it's good to sing. It's good to shout. Yeah, you know, it's good to feel good. It's good to pray to the God of the universe. It's good to know that he lives inside of you every day. It's good to know that there's no need that you have that he would not meet or that he cannot meet. All of those things is good. But how many of y'all understand yeah. that with everything in life, y'all, it comes at a cost? Yeah. Yeah. It comes at a cost. Yeah. Amen? Everything yeah. comes at a cost. It costs. Hallelujah. Amen? In the book of Matthew, chapter 16, and verse number 24, in the New Living Translation, then Jesus said to is this time. Yes, sir. Many times Jesus addressed everybody. Mm -hmm. sure. But there are times he addressed a, a specific group. Amen? Yes. And so he said this to his disciples. Yes. Amen? And so don't take this and run it away and try to give it to everybody. That's right. Because it's not for everybody. Come on, Pastor! Amen? And, and we're guilty of that many times of trying to take uh, what God gives to us specifically and give it to other Jesus. And that's where discernment comes in. Praise God. Amen. I don't know whether I have a subject today or not, but if one comes back to this just let me, let me deal with you from what's from my heart. You know, 
Uh, uh, because many of us have messed up because of our, pers our perspective on life. Come on, Pastor. And we take our perspectives as being reality. Come on, Pastor. And your perspectives a lot of times is not reality. Oh my God. I'm going to tell you, most of the times, your perspectives are jacked up. Yes. Because they don't align with the truth of God's word. Yes. Amen. And, and, so, uh, uh, and so people a lot of times live according to their perspectives. Yes. Our country is messed up because of people's perspectives. Yes. When you start living by your perspectives, y'all, as a people of God, you stop, you stop living by the promises of God. Amen. Because you expected this to happen. Oh my. But God didn't say that. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Hallelujah. Amen. And you can get the point in your life where you expect, uh, you expect God to uh, move in a situation when God never says, I'm going to move. Baby. All right. Because your, pers your perspective is wrong. Amen. On what the word of God said. Well, listen to the Bible. Then Jesus said to his disciples, I, 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 you know, uh, the word that God has given me, y'all, is for his people. Mm -hmm. It's for his people. The Bible said Jesus came to his own. Come on, Pastor. Amen. He didn't come to the others. He came to his own. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and so the, the, this was, you know, yeah, I tried to get away from dealing with uh, the people of God, but uh, I, I, I find out that's, that's where he's calling. Yes, absolutely. Praise God. To deal with the people of God. Yes. He said, if any of you wants to be my follower, yes. if you want to follow me, you must give up your own way. My God. My and God. then, y'all, lies the, lies the problem mm -hmm. of just by every believer. Amen. Amen. We don't want to give up our way. My God, my God. Amen. We, we just don't want to do it. Do it. Amen. I, I talked to y'all about the roundabouts, the track of roundabout. Yeah. The one thing about a roundabout, you got to learn how to give up your way. Yes. Come on, y'all. If you, you really do it right about, you got to give up your way because I want to keep going. Yeah. Amen. But I got to give up my way for somebody else that's already there. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Yeah. And we get, <coughs> we get frustrated amen, when other people don't move but when they should move. Uh, yesterday, I was, I was with somebody yesterday. We're, we're, at, we're on the street. I mean, moving around. This car Stop! And couldn't figure out why the car stopped. The car stopped because there was another car parked. They did not think that they could keep going with that other car. And so we sit there for about five minutes because all of the traffic came the other way. <laughs> and and, and I'm, I'm saying to y'all, I say, God, I, I, I'm telling you, I'll give you the word that God will give you. you, you know, I, oh, I believe that everything that happens in my life, as a believer, it has a bearing on my eternal salvation. Yes, yes. And it works on me, y'all, because there's something in me that's not quite lined up like Christ. And so the Lord is always working me to change me. Yes. Yeah. And, I, and, I, and I, I thought about the Lord. Why are you working? Are you working on me? Because <laughs> I start to get frustrated. Yeah, come on, Pastor. Come on, y'all. And then I start to get annoyed. Yes. And uh, yeah, those are human emotions that I yeah. carry. I haven't been able to kill them all. <laughs> oh my God. Come on, y'all. And, and so the Bible said, Jesus said what? He said, if any man, and he said the disciples, amen. If you want to come after me, if you want to follow me, amen, the first thing you, you got to do is what? Give up your own way. way. You got to give up your own way. You got to let go your way. Hallelujah. Amen. The, listen, y'all, we're in time today. People don't want to give up their way. They want what they want, and they want it when they want it. They don't want to give up their way. And I've observed that, y'all.
that even in the world of, of, of church, in the yeah. world of us, yeah. we don't want to give up yeah. our way. And you, you want us to, I guess, if God 
Yeah. I never seen you do that before. And some people say, well, well if you're hot casting, I ain't gonna do chocolate for a week. <laughs>
before she baked it. You know, she always called me, and she said, well, I asked my mama. Okay. So she called her mother up. Her mama said, well, I don't know if that, uh, that's the way that my mama did. And she said, so she called her mama. Mama called mama. So, so mama said, when she got to grandma, grandma said, well, the reason why I do it, she said, because I didn't have a pen big enough to fit. <laughs> So I cut it off. I need to feed the pain. But now in this day, three generations later, we make pants big enough. Yes. Oh, come on, y'all. Yes. We ain't got to cut off a part of that. Come on. Amen. Do y'all understand? Amen. How some simple stuff, y'all. Amen. We created systems that does not make sense. We do things that does not make any sense. That's why you need to renew your mind. Yes, sir. You need to change your mind. God calls us. Amen. The Bible says in Peter, the Lord said to us, and y'all talked about it too, so that the Bible says in, in Peter, grow in great love. Yes. And in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Oh, praise God. Why y'all do service this way? <laughs> you, you understand what I'm saying? See, y'all listen, life should, life should be an a, a evolution. Yes. We're constantly changing, not because God changed, but because our relationship to him changed. Yes, Come on, y'all. See, yes. I want to deal with y'all. I want to talk to y'all because I was thinking about it. You know, what makes us what we are? Amen. And, and the Lord let me know, we need to get more into him. Yes. And as you get more into Christ, y'all, your life changes. Yes, sir. Oh, Amen. Everything about you changes. Yes, and the closer you get to God, you change. It's yes. like get, listen, y'all. Amen. If you want to get hot, you got to get closer to the fire. Oh, yes. 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 Amen. But you can get so close to the fire that you and the fire becomes warm. Yes, it is. Come on, y'all. People want, see, we, we want the presence of God. Amen. But we don't want to let go of us. Come on. You, you, you don't want that go up. Again, let me bring your old story that y'all heard before about the monkey. Amen. That the old African, amen, put banana in the cage because he wanted monkey soup. Amen. And the monkey grabbed on the banana. Amen. And he wanted a whole, he wanted a banana. Yeah. The African wanted monkey soup. Somebody gonna win and somebody gonna lose. If the monkey was willing to let go of his way, he could save his life. And uh, God, come on y'all, many of us are dying because we won't let go of our way. And so the monkey, seeing the old African coming, and the only way he could get his hands free, he had to let go of the net. He could pull his hand out of the cage. Right. But his the desire for the banana was greater than his desire for living. You talking about Some of y'all, your problem is your desires are greater than your desire for life. And so you would die where you are. So the old Abby kept coming. The monkey started to press fire, trying to get his head out of the cave. Could not do it as long as he held on to that banana. How many of y'all are holding on to a banana? In the face of death, you hold on to it. I hold the monkey swept for a few slept, but would not let go of that banana. Oh my God. Because he refused to let go. My God. The old African had monkey stew for dinner. Yeah. All he had to do is let go. All he had to do is let go. He would have saved his life. How many things in, you, in your life is killing you? Did you refuse to let go? 
I always did things this way. This is my life. Food, that's not your life. And you're going to die in that. It's like the Bible. You would die in your sin. And there are many people that die because you refuse to let go. They hold on to old attitude. They hold on to old ways. They hold on to unforgiveness. They hold on to, they refuse to change. What happened? They're gonna die. They're gonna die. I, I see it, y'all. I see people die. Listen, and I said, Lord, deal with me with the number of deaths, y'all. This catch my life over this past year, y'all. There are people gonna die because they refuse to let go. Yeah. Mm. What a trap. What a tragedy. Hallelujah. What a tragedy. Refuse to change. Refuse to modify things. Come on, y'all. Refuse to look at things from a different way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How many of you know that many times, y'all, and because of where you can be seeing things wrong? Yes, oh, my God. And somebody try, tries to show you a different perspective, you won't, you won't do it. And so you die. Jesus. People, people are dying. And then they want you to help them. I'm sorry. I, I, I am not, I'm not feeling. <laughs> Y'all got to pray for me. I, I'm not feeling. When I give you truth that will revolutionize your life and change you and bring you to where I'm at, and you don't want to do it. I, 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 I'm I, sorry. You know, only by the love and grace of God I pray for you. Because I can't wrap my mind around something that's so simple and so free. And you refuse. But they did it to Jesus. Yes, they did. Everything Jesus offered was free. Everything. Oh, Jesus. Mm hmm. And, and, and he brought it to, oh God, this is the Lord. He brought it to them. Yes. They did not have to go get it. Oh my God. Every Sunday I bring you this word. Yes. You ain't got to go get it. You ain't got to work for it. You ain't got to pay for it. And the Bible said, amen, as many as you see. My God. My God. Yeah. My God. Yeah. My God. But many don't receive it. So they don't get light. Jesus. Oh my because they won't let their minds change. Oh Jesus. Woo. Mm. My God. Mm. We're jacked up and messed up, y'all. Yes, yes. Because of our own stubbornness. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, oh, praise God. Our own self-will. Yes. Our own unwillingness. The Bible said, in, in, he that is obedient willing and obedient <laughs> will eat the good of the land. Yes. Praise God. Willing to follow yes. and obedient in your father. Yes. You'll eat the good of the land. Yes. Mm. Oh my God. Yeah. Some people won't do it so they start. <laughs> they stop. Come on y'all. They stop. Send your word, Lord. They stop. My God. I, I, I love Jesus. And Jesus loved me. And I still pray. Yes, Amen. And I pray for I pray for people. Yes. Although they work at this, but I still pray for them. Yeah. I would not stop praying because he had stopped praying oh, for me. My God. Yes. Come on, Pastor. So I'm going to still pray. I'm still going to ask God, God change them. Yes, yes. God help them. Yes. Open their eyes up. Yes. They, they can see. Help to stop being a fool. Yes. Oh, yes. My God. Come on, Pastor. I see a prayer. My God. Hallelujah. See, y'all, we're, we're, we're not, listen, we're not dying because of a lack of knowledge. Oh, we're dying because we failed, amen, to implement what we know. Yes. Yes. Oh, Jesus. We failed to utilize yeah. what we know. Praise God. You got to change your perspective on life. Amen. Amen. 
Some of us were given because of others and what others think and what other feel and what others say. Listen, I don't care. I don't care what you feel about me. I don't care what you say about me. I don't care how you think about me. The only thing that matters to me is what God is saying. Yes, yes. Amen. And as a father here, yes, yes. he told me to love you yes. in spite of yourself. Yes, yes. And I'm going to tell you, y'all, that's a challenge. Yes. But I'm learning to do it. Yes. And to do it, y'all, I had to renew my mind. Yes. Because David is within him, so I said, no, you ain't got to pray for them. <laughs> my God. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Yes. Amen. But when I said, well, Lord, I won't follow you, he says, well, you got to deny your way, yeah. yourself, yeah. take up your cross. Yeah. You mean, take up, I mean, you mean I got to pray for them? Yes. Yes. You mean I got to love them? Yes. Yes. Now, I learned the scripture, y'all. Now you said, I said, Lord, I need your help. <laughs> now maybe y'all are okay. I'm not, y'all. I still deal with me. And I still got ways that want to encroach on God's ways. And so I said, Lord, Lord, you got to help me. I need your help. Praise God. Amen. And he never failed me yet. He always give me help. Praise God. Lord, you know the little thing between me and Sister Diane. And she's so hard hit. And so stuck. And I tried to get to the Lord, but she would She wouldn't. She brought, she would I brought candy. I brought flour. Come on, y'all. I took out the dinner. She wouldn't change. And what God said, got the love. I said, Lord, I'd like to do something else, but not love. <laughs> so, 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 Lord, you, you, you got to help me. Praise God. See, y'all need to understand, there are some things in our life that would not be automatic. You got to ask God to help you. To change it. Amen. The way that you are. Amen. You got to ask God to help you to change it. But if you do it now, that you are messed up, yes. then you will constantly insist on that you are right. Yes. I need to tell y'all, being right is no badge of a badge, y'all. Amen. Of righteousness. Come on. And y'all, well, I'm right. So what? Yes. Are you following Christ? Yes. Amen. People say, well, I was right. People gave to our argument was up. Well, I was right. Okay. <laughs> well, that's you want to say. That don't give you the marriage because you're right. Jesus was right. Yes. But he still died, y'all. Yes. How many of y'all are willing to die even though you're right? Oh, my God. Here. Right don't make it, y'all. Love does. And that's why the Bible teaches us that love Genesis 29. 
And uh, I guess verse 32 is a good question. Mm -hmm. Y'all understand the story. This is Jacob and Judah. And you know that Jacob had two wives. You know he had the wife of his beloved and he had the wife that he was getting. Y'all got to learn how to live with both of them. <laughs> y'all are like that. I know y'all are like that. Come on, y'all. If not, if you got the wife that you love and you got the wife, amen, that you was getting. You got to live to love them both. Yeah. But both of them have their own perspectives yes, on life. Come on, y'all. Yes. But I don't want to talk about Jacob. I want to talk about Leah. Leah, come on. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. The Bible says in verse 32, it says, So Leah became pregnant and gave birth to a son. And she named him Reuben, for she said, The Lord has noticed my misery, and now my husband will love me. Okay? Two things, okay? Leah was not loved by Jacob. No. Wasn't loved by Jacob. But she was the wife of Jacob. Yes. Come on, y'all. Amen. Uh, and, and, and she was trying to get into a place so that he would love her. How many of y'all understand you can't force people to love you? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Y'all can tell somebody to get married. Uh, too many people say, well, I'm getting married. You know, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm getting, I, I'm, I'm in love. And she don't love me now, but she will. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> ain't gonna work. That don't work. Ain't gonna work. <laughs> ain't happening. If she don't love you today, she ain't gonna love you tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> See, we, we live in this. In this thing that we believe that we can change people. You can't change people. <laughs> <them. laughs> People need to make up their minds about life. Yes, they do. And people are making their minds up all the time. Yeah. They're making their minds up all the time. Today, people make up their minds yeah. about their, whether they're going to uh, worship personally or whether they're going to worship online. Yeah. Yeah. So who am I to say one way or another? No, it's not my job. My job is to give the word. Now, and the critical thing is when they receive the word. See, and I know when people receive the word because it produces change in their life. Yes, yes. When I see the change, yes. then I know that they receive the word. Yes. When they tell me how much I love you, Pastor, by seeing no change in their lives, I want to tell them, y'all have been deceived by oh, the receiver. Yes. Come on, Pastor. Where you think you're someplace where you're not. So live. He came pregnant and they gave birth to a uh, son. She named him Reuben, but she said, The Lord has noticed my misery, and now my husband will love me. She connected her misery you know, to her husband, to, her, to, to his lack of love, her misery because of his lack of love. And so she went to the Lord because of her situation. <laughs> and she thought that her pregnancy. Amen. Was the result of God seeing in her. Yes. Come on, God. Praise God. Amen. Now look at verse 33. And she soon became pregnant again. Yes. And gave birth to another son. Uh-huh. And then she named him Sin. For she said, The Lord heard. That I was unloved and has given me another son. So the first son, she said, God noticed her bitch. The second son, God noticed her unloved. And this is her. I'm not saying she's right, wrong, and different. I'm just saying, y'all need to understand, this is her perspective. This is her mindset. And because you have a perspective mindset, y'all, it doesn't mean you're right. Come on, y'all. It, it, that, that's your So I'm not questioning whether she was right or wrong. I'm saying that's where she was. And many times that's where people are. And because, it, listen, y'all, and because they stay, don't they make it right. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Jesus. Because right now, I, 
trying to tell y'all, amen, that City Hall don't exist in Albany, New York. <laughs> don't change anything. <laughs> it don't make it right. And people tend to think because they say something, it changes them. It does not. Praise God. Amen. Because she said, I was, I was unloved. Hallelujah. How many of y'all are looking for love? As old son said, but you're looking for it in all the wrong places. See, love is not found. Amen. Oh God. Love is not found in another person. Come not on. the kind of love yeah. that you need. Hmm. She is not found in stuff. Uh -uh. Not the love you need. See, the Bible teaches us, yeah, I love because he first loved me. Yes. I ain't loving you for me. I'm not capable of loving you for me because you irritates me. Y'all don't understand? But I love because he loved, first loved me. Understand? And because he loved me, then I can love others. See, many times, y'all want people to love people, but they don't have the first love. Until God gives you love, you can't love. My God, my God. Praise God. No. Verse 34. It's the size. Then she became pregnant a third time. Mm. Mm. And she gave birth to another son. He was named Levi. For she said, surely this guy, my husband will feel affection for me since I have given him three sons. She's trying to extract love because she don't have it. Her perspective was, if I keep Giving him kids. Yes. Come on, Pastor. He yes. Y'all need to catch some of these little. Yes. Excuse my expression. But y'all need to catch some of these little black fast gals today. Oh, Jesus. Tell them that you don't love you because he's only pregnant with you. Oh, Amen. That is not a sign of love. Oh, no, sir. Oh, man. And then they won't come back. You know you carry my baby. Hmm. <laughs>
Thank you. Which is change your perspective. Yeah. How I know? Because of what she named this child. Absolutely. Come on. She said, now I'm going to praise the Lord. You should have been praising the Lord for the first time. Right? Absolutely. Come on, y'all. How many of y'all having all these kids, but you ain't? Come on, that's a shame. Come on, y'all. God wants you to have a Judah. Y'all yes. having a Levi, a Simeon. Y'all having all these other kids, y'all. But God wants you to have a Judah. God wants the praise. Amen. God don't want an apple. God, y'all need to stop trying to please people. Yes, yes. And, and start pleasing God. Absolutely. And when she got that revelation, y'all, that God is everything I need, the Bible said she stopped having you. Stop <laughs> Come on, y'all. Some things won't stop at you, Elijah, until you get revelation. <laughs> There's some things need to stop, but you need, you need a revelation. Why are you doing what you're doing? Okay. You need revelation. Hallelujah. When you get revelation, you'll stop. And the critical thing was she stopped. She stopped going upward and she stopped going upward. Thank you, Lord. Come on. I'm, I'm here to tell the church, y'all. And if we need to stop looking upward and stuff. That's this one, that, that one. That one don't do it. That one don't do it. That one ain't gonna get out No, no. Start looking upward. Yeah. And start praising God. Yes. Start magnifying God. And the point of one don't do it, it don't matter. God is still on the throne. Amen. He's still in charge. He's still calling this shot.
that I'll, I'll be, uh, give you the scripture and I'm done. Praise God. In, in verse number one, let me start verse number one. Chapter 20, 2 Corinthians. Chapter 20, verse number one. It says, after this, the armies of Moabite, Moabite, the Ammonite, and some of the Medianite declared war on Jehovah. Messengers came and told Jehovah, told Jehovah. A vast army from the heathen is marching against you from the yonder dead sea. They are already at Azar, Hamas. This was another word for the in Jehovah. Jehoshaphat was terrified by this news and begged the Lord for God. He also ordered everyone in Judah to begin to fast. Amen. We talk about fast. That was they stopped eating food. That's right. So, I'm sorry. So the people from all the towns of Judah came to Jerusalem to seek the Lord's help. Now, I want you to know some stuff here. When you're in trouble as a peace, it's not the time to scatter. No, no. It's the time to get. Yes. Yes. What we've allowed the enemy to do, do, Sister Brown, is to scatter. Oh, yes. you better hear this for us. Yes. 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 And we use excuses. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Why we're scattered. Why I'm Come on, y'all. And we're justified within our own mind for our reason oh, my God. to scatter from us. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> although, although we were gathered with us. Oh, Come on, yes. y'all. Oh, yes. So, y'all, we're gathered with us, but we're scattered from us. Oh, Jesus. Let that go. Please, receive that person. Yes, I got it. Jehoshaphat stood before the community of Judah and Jerusalem in front of the new courtyard at the temple of the Lord. Notice where he was at. Yes. He prayed, O Lord, our Lord, God of our ancestors, you alone are the God who is in heaven. Yes. You are ruler of all the kingdoms of the earth. Yes. Your power and might. No one can stand against you. Our God, oh our God, did you not drive out those who live in this land when your people Israel arrived? And did you not give this land forever to the descendants of yes. Abraham? Oh, really? What he did, y'all, he's going back on what God did. Yes. 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 But you can move forward, you need to know what they did. Yes. Look, 
Amen. Because of your weakness, the stuff would discourage you. Amen. Amen. That's why you've got to look up. Hallelujah. Look up. Look up. And what Habakkuk said, if, they, if you don't see no, no stuff from the, from the cows in the stall, in the, in the stall if there's no figs on the back. Come on, God. Come on. Praise God. He, he went through a list of stuff. What if? He said, what if? What if? I was still praise God. We don't praise God for what? We, That's right. What if? What if? But we praise Him for Him. Yes, indeed. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Stand with us today. Praise God. Jesus. As we leave the house of the Lord, but not leave His presence. Amen. My God, my God. I trust that you get in a closer relationship with Him. Yes, sir. So wherever you come, y'all, you got it.